Hello, my name is Stefan Volk for GetWebDoc and today I want to show you how to implement your 3D models onto your web page. This is a model I created in 3ds Max and that I wanted my customers to be able to watch. You can zoom in, you can move around it and so you can see it just the way you want to see it. So how was this done? It all started out at a web page called sketchfab.com. This is the website. Sketchfab offers several different accounts you can choose from and one of them is totally free. So the first thing you have to do is to create an account on the Sketchfab website. Once you did that, you receive an email that contains the data you will need to export your models. Namely, there's a number called the API number that you need once you upload stuff to this web page. So the next step is 3ds Max. Here is the model I created. It's important to know that the only kinds of textures you are allowed to use when you want to upload your model to Sketchfab later on are JPEG and PNG files. So no Targa files, no TIFF files, no PSD files whatsoever in your textures. That's very important. I made a mistake with that and it hindered me from uploading and it took me a long time to find this out. So if you start with your model you better just start with JPEG and PNG files so you avoid that mistake from the very beginning. So the next step is to export this file as an OBG file. So what I do next is go to export export to a non-native file format choose a folder I called mine sketchfab name your file I'm gonna override this file spirit soundcraft studio because that is what this mixing board is and then I say save yes I want to replace it now here's the options to choose from Another point I found out after suffering for a long time is to have this button checked, Force Black Ambient. If you don't have that, then a lot of the textures and a lot of the colors on the object you'll see later on on Sketchfab will be much too bright. So please make sure to have this checked. The other check boxes I just left as they are but maybe you take a little time to look at them. Now I'm gonna export this file. That went quick. The file got exported. I go to the folder where I stored all the stuff and have a look into it. So this is what is included. The object file, a material file called, uh, also ending with MTL, and the textures I used. I check again, it's only JPEG files in this case. So the next thing I do is take this folder and zip it. And here's my resulting file. The next step is go to the Sketchfab website again and log in. I already did that. The next step is I open my dashboard. So now I'm gonna upload the file I just zipped. So I click the upload button, browse for my zip folder 
open it and upload the file. Once my file has finally uploaded, it's loading in Sketchfab itself. And here it is. On the Sketchfab website, I can choose a background, for example, a clean dark. And I have these buttons. The one I'm interested in is this one, Embed, because this is about embedding it onto my website. Here's the text I have to copy. This is how it looks like when it's pasted in. It's creating an iframe and it has the height of 480 pixel width of 854 uh, pixel and this is what I would put into my website. I am working with Jomla and in Jomla the basic setting is iframes are prohibited. To avoid this on my Jomla website I go to site configuration text filters. I'm choosing the super user or administrator and I make sure that it says no filters or no filtering. I don't know how it's written in English. I use the German version. Then I say safe and close and I'm going to the content part. I already created a content file which contains my model but I'm gonna redo it. So I'm gonna open my file, delete everything, and then I'm gonna copy the embed code, paste it here, then this is important I say editor on off and I can see that my model got put in I want to add a little more text that I made for this switch into HTML mode and I paste my text you can see I have my file and I have my text I say safe and close and then I go to preview. Here's my website. Now I'm gonna open the file. Takes a little while. I click on this icon and here's my model on my web page. I can do anything with it I did in Sketchfab. That was it. The important thing about this is you need to have a browser capable of WebGL. I tried this out in the new version of Chrome and in the new version of Firefox and it's working on both. So I hope I could help you with this little tutorial and I'll see you soon. Bye.